It's storytelling time by your host, Jack. Please stand by for another exciting video from VintageElectronicsGeek.com. I'd like to talk over with you our job of taking care of our party line customers. It's one of the most important jobs we have to do, to help our party line customers get the greatest pleasure and benefit from their service. And I want to help you in every way I can to do the job successfully. Uh, hello, everybody, and welcome to another adventure here at VintageElectronicsGeek.com. Today, we are simply going to put a end on a telephone cable. I need to make a patch cable for some dumb reason, and I thought this would be a fantastic time to show you, my friends, all 16 million of you, how to do this. So this is what we're going to do today. It's fairly simple. All you need is phone cable, snips, wire cutters of some sort, a crimp tool, and most importantly, connectors. The chart you see here in front of you is a wiring chart for the telephone jack. And we're gonna pay attention to these colors right here, more essentially these middle four colors. I'm not gonna confuse any new users with anything else on this chart. So forget everything else. All we're gonna concentrate on is black, red, green, and yellow, and then the positioning of the plug. And while we're zoomed in, pay attention to how this plug is designed. What you're seeing here is that little plastic tab that's on the, um, the outer barrel of the phone jack. Now, I did want to mention that chart will be on my website. So make sure you click the link below in the description. Expand the, the description because there's more junk in there than what you may see. And click on the link that says video and chart on my website and that will take you to my website where you can view this video as well as download that chart. One other plug for my website if I may, for those of you who have not been to my website, you should go. Uh, my website, you're gonna find that I'm bringing it up. There's not a lot of junk there, but there is some useful stuff. One thing you will not find is a lot of spam and advertisement and junk like that. My site is safe. My site is free. You're going to find files, PDFs, maybe some zips and ISOs, stuff uh, like that, all downloadable for free. It is a family safe, free zone, and work safe. So there you go. Onward and awkward with the task at hand. Grab our wire, and next thing we need to do is grab our strippers. Now, pay attention to how your, your strippers are set up. We're going to use, I'm sorry, our crimpers. However, our crimpers do have a stripper. And on this side, you see we only have one blade. On this side, we have two blades, two blades, two blades. Two blades are better than one. Ain't that the commercial? This is the stripping side, and this is the cutting side. And this matters. How? Well, we want to put our wire in this way. As you see by doing such, it'll cut the wire on this side and strip the wire on that side, like so. And then you just smash down, get a good firm, keep a good firm grip on your, your tool and on the wire and then pull. By doing so, it'll take off the outer sheathing of the wire. Oh, here's something else you might need, a little trash receptacle. And it'll expose our wires. Now, if your tool, your crimping tool does not have this, that's okay. Because you can use snips or knife or something like that. One thing you want to be careful with when you are stripping wire, any type of wire, is the outer jacket. You want to make sure that you don't cut all the way through to the inner individual jackets. You don't want to nick them and you don't want to nick the wires. That could definitely cause problems later on down the road. So try to practice that. And if by chance you do, then just cut them off and start fresh. Enough dribble drabble. Here we have our cut wires. This is just a little too long. You only need about a quarter of an inch or so. Because if we put Try to put this in our end now, 
this will definitely hang out. We want to go about like so. So you can see how much further the wires would definitely hang out at the end. And you don't want to crimp like this and then have this dangling all over the place. That is definitely not good. So what we want to do is snip off, oh, about so. Try to ensure that your cut is straight with the end, as we saw in our color guide, our wiring guide, our wiring diagram, we want this part down. So the front side looking at you. By doing so, as you can see in our diagram, yellow is the first color. So we want to make sure yellow is on our right. Now you got to be careful with some of these plugs, like this plug here is actually six pin. So in that, in this scenario, you need to ensure that this wire goes into the center. And so by doing this, you aim the wire down because you've got that little plastic lock up here that'll get in the way. Aim it down and try to get in the center. It should be fairly easy to go in. And if you get it off to the side one way or the other, just simply pull it out and ensure you've uh, got it correct. I got to look into my bionic eye here to see if I've got it correct, and I don't. I'm, I'm actually one pin too high, so I need to back it out. All right, I guess I did have it incorrect. I'm gonna have to fire my bionic eye. So the next thing to do is you take your crimpers. Now your crimpers may have two or more slots. It's only gonna fit into one in this scenario. Uh, it's gonna be the small one and it should be labeled 6P. P stands for pin. And then you're gonna have 8P pin, which is for your network. One thing I also wanted to note, so I forgot to mention, make sure that this wire and plug is pulled in, pushed in as far as it can go securely. What you wanna see is the wire actually hitting the front of this right here. And when that happens, and you know it's good and secure. Reason that that is is because We've got these little gold contacts with the crimper. The crimper is going to smash those down and they're going to bite into the wire. And because as you notice, the wire is not stripped. So those blades are going to bite down into it. This little plastic tab right here is going to smash into the outer jacket and that's going to give it its strength. So let's redo this, shall we? We've got better luck. So take our crimper, put it in the hole and it'll lock in just as normal. All right, so that's in there and just crimp down nice and strong like and it's done just pull just pull it out and there you go I put it in crooked with the cables finished the next thing to do is simply plug it in the wall and see if it works if you're successful, you know it will. If not, then you gotta start all over. If you have a wire tester, you could definitely use that as well. And we're gonna go ahead and test this. Does not matter which wire goes into what hole, because we're right here. So we put that into that one, and we'll put it into this hole. We'll turn it on. If we're successful, you should see two through five illuminate. And there we go. All the lights illuminate. This wire is good to go. If you enjoyed this video and you were able to take something away from it, by all means support me. Give me a thumbs up, like, and comment. That would be swell. I would really, really appreciate that. Until the next video, we'll catch you then. Be good humans.